Sissy, you can't let me know what for. I'll come and get it. <laughs> I'm with Ignacio Guterres Orantia, co-head of strategic coverage EMEA for Citigroup, and congratulations, Ignacio, on winning our top award, the most innovative investment bank of the year. Thank you, Ray. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about how City has triumphed. It's been a very difficult year for the banks, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Not. Thank you very much, first Brian, and thank you, the banker, for this award. We are very pleased to uh, to collect this award today. No? I think, uh, uh, in reality, the way we see innovation is as a must uh, for us. I think. Uh, the definition probably of innovation is a uh, best solution yes. for a, a new challenge. Right. And I cannot think of you know more challenging environment than the one we have now. Okay, so uh, the more challenging the environment is, the more innovative you become. Absolutely, it's like a Darwinian concept, like the evolution okay. of a species. I mean, the, the, either we innovate or we will not succeed. Uh, so it's not only the clients, it's also us as a financing industry, the one that uh, need to also innovate. No? So All right, so tell us a little bit about aspects of that in particular. So, for example, in the project finance area, where yeah. we also gave you the separate award, I mean, you know, and, and you did this great work uh, on in New York with LaGuardia Airport. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're very proud. I mean, we uh, very rapidly saw that uh, infrastructure is a great asset class. I think the more we think about it, the more we believe that it's a real asset class coming. There's lots of search for deals. Uh, investors are really looking into that, and it's a good place to deploy money. So we have really assembled a, a strong tax force. But together with our uh, 100 country presence, which is something very difficult to replicate, uh, gives us a, a very strong foothold into the sector. And so, in particular, we've done uh, two or three transactions that are worth uh, mentioning. I mean, you mentioned La Guardia Airport, which is a very good one. Mm. Where we and, and that was the first public-private partnership, or was the largest? Absolutely. Largest Absolutely. Largest no, I think it's yeah. several, several kind of uh, milestones, that transaction. We work for Skanska and, uh, and series of other investors there. Uh, and the reality is that we did, uh, it was a 3.5, 3.9 billion dollar investment there and we issued the largest tax exempt uh, bond ever for 2.4 billion. Uh, it was also the largest P3 project okay. as you mentioned, it's been the largest uh, infrastructure uh, project in an airport in the US ever. So together with that we just did the City uh, Mexico DF airport financing which is the largest infrastructure uh, bond for uh, emerging markets. And we have been also working in, in a couple of transactions, probably the worth mentioning here in Europe is the uh, DP World in London takeaway, where we basically structure and arrange uh, financing, refinancing for the company with a private placement into uh, some insurance companies for the client. So it's been very successful. Okay, so that's, that's project finance. Now, what about debt and equity? Uh, just pick me out sort of one deal from each, each category. I, I, think it's, I know there's, I think I know there's a lot. It's, it's obviously difficult uh, and probably wouldn't be uh, on a fair for the, for the rest of the people mm. in the bank. Just pick one transaction. Probably if I think of on the debt side, and probably for Sovereign, there have been a couple of transactions that have been uh, worth, definitely are worth mentioning. One is the Abu Dhabi. Uh, first time that they've been right. tapping the markets in seven years with a five billion bond in two tranches uh, with a huge demand, 20 billion, where we were uh, acting And there. then you did this deal for Argentina where you brought them back absolutely, into the capital markets. Absolutely, right. And that was a very important deal because after 15 years, uh, Argentina tapped the market. It's been the largest uh, sovereign emerging market bond ever uh, and probably puts an end to a, a hugely contentious process with the government and some investors. Uh, and it was a huge demand, 70 billion for the country in that thing. So those two assets, th those kind of transactions are very uh, kind of uh, right. worth mentioning. And then, 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 then finally on the equity side, I mean, tell us a little bit this, about this first data deal, because that was a huge deal. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it's been the, the largest IPO uh, that we did last year, probably one year ago for Fish Data. Uh, we're very proud of, of that transaction. And also there's probably another transaction this year in April, uh, which was this exchange operator, BATS, BATS, where kind of we uh, reopened the market uh, in the US, which we're also very proud of. I think uh, those probably could be, you know, five or six Stand examples up, yes. of things okay. that we have done recently. Ignacio, thank you very much and have a great evening. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. And we're very pleased to have this prize and award. Thanks a lot.